Hey Capricorn, this read is for you guys for Monday. Let's see what the universe has in store for you guys. Alrighty, so universe, what messages do you have for Capricorn? You got some advice, Ooh. and then of course, she's dropping cards all over the place. So let's go ahead and get started and we'll see what these ones were. So we have suffering in silence emotional withdrawal, obstac obstacles and challenges. Mm. The third eye chakra, which tends to speak to your intuition and passion ignited. Um, I feel like we're due for a transitional period with this one. I feel like we're, we're in a not so good place right now. Um, Dealing with some sort of challenges, some situation that we're not happy with, uh, that's not benefiting us, it's not working for us, and I feel like it's time for a change, and as I said that, I pulled new beginnings, so uh, definitely time, time to change things around and find some happiness in our life, I think. I pulled patience, awareness, power, and firm foundation. So I feel like whatever's going on in your life right now, definitely not making you happy. Um, might even feel stuck in it. It's not fulfilling in any way, shape, or form. Uh, it's not meeting your, your emotional needs. Um, I feel like that passion ignited, that speaking to you needing to, to feel passionate about life again, the patience to me is also speaking of growing a new future, growing a new life. Um, if you can see the flower she's growing from her hand, that's why I feel that that's what that card is speaking to. I feel like this awareness card is speaking the, to the chakra card in um, doing some soul searching and discovering what it is that you could feel passionate about, um, what it is that you want your life to look at or to look like. And once you discover that, I feel like then you can make a plan for change so that you can get there. Okay, so I got the Ace of Pentacles here. The Ace of Pentacles tends to also represent new beginnings. Uh, it usually speaks of finance. And I do feel like it speaks to that in this as well. At least in part, because I think that's part of what you're going through as well. Um, I think we are gonna be talking about a relationship too because I did pull the lover's card. I have the nine of pentacles and the nine of pentacles speaks of abundance. Uh, to me, it usually speaks of um, not just finances, but happiness as well. So I feel like this ties into the change that we need to make. I don't think you're getting what you need financially as well as, as being happy as well. And that's contributing um, to you feeling stuck because I get that word a lot when I'm looking at these cards that you feel stuck. Um, I have the Page of Cups and the Page of Cups represents a good news that's on the way. And it tends to be of an emotional nature. So I almost wonder if it's tied in to this Lover's card. And I wonder if this Lover's card is tied into this King of Pentacles. Um, wonder if there isn't someone coming down the pike for you here who's gonna help you change your life um, in maybe a couple of different ways. Uh, the King of Pentacles tends to be somebody who's generous and very capable, um, competent. Sometimes they own their own business, they're successful, independent. Um, I feel like this is somebody you might be bumping into. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. 
So I have the Six of Swords, and the Six of Swords represents moving um, from a stormier time to a calmer one. So I think that's what this transition is going to be. Um, moving from where you are right now, where you're feeling stuck and very unhappy, um, to a time when you feel emotionally fulfilled. Um, I have the Seven of Pentacles here, and the Seven of Pentacles speaks of abundance. Um, and it speaks of an abundant harvest, so setting the groundwork for that as well, being able to enjoy the abundance that comes from the work. And I feel like it ties into the to the uh, firm foundations as well and setting that foundation for a new future. Um, I have the Ten of Pentacles. The Ten of Pentacles tends to represent abundance as well. And I have the Two of Cups, which represents relationships. And the Nine of Cups, which represents emotional abundance. So I feel like this person is really going to change your life. It is going to be a big one for you in a couple of different areas of your life. So I have the Four of Cups here. The Four of Cups can represent um, sort of a feeling of indifference. I think it ties into to the suffering and silence and the emotional withdrawal and sort of feeling numb about things and very unhappy about the way things are going. And I have the Eight of Pentacles here. And he can represent, uh, they usually call him the Apprentice card. So he represents learning and sometimes he speaks of academic learning, uh, but sometimes he can also speak of um, like learning a trade going back to school. I'm getting a bit of a vibe off of him and this page of pentacles right next to him. Um, I feel like it might tie into your king of pentacles and maybe what he does for a living. Um, it might have to do with school and teaching as well. Uh, but the page of pentacles can also represent a good news coming your way of finance as well. I have the Two of Pentacles. The Two of Pentacles speaks of a balance between work and home. I don't know that it's work and home for you. I think it's just bringing things back into balance. Because I feel like you're just, like I said, what in all these cards, I feel like you feel stuck and you're very unhappy. And I feel like you're not getting a, enough of what you need uh, to fulfill you emotionally and spiritually. And I feel like that's what the Two of Pentacles is speaking to. He's speaking of bringing a balance back into your life. Um, and I have the Four of Wands, and the Four of Wands represents a solid foundation for the future. And I feel like that's also what you're going to get from this person. I feel like this person is very solid. Five of Cups, the Five of Cups can represent um, also feeling stuck. So in negative emotions and negative thoughts, so much so that you can't see positive opportunities around you. And then I have the Two of Swords. The Two of Swords can represent trouble in making a choice or a decision. Um, and also feeling again, stuck, sort of deadlocked. Um, having trouble choosing a path. I think this also speaks of this transition that you need to make and figuring out what it is that's going to make you happy. You know what? That might even involve going back to school. That might be what this apprentice card in the Page of Pentacles is speaking to. And I wonder if that isn't where you're going to meet Mr. King of Pentacles. So I wonder if he isn't going to um, work at the school for the school uh, in some way and that's where you're going to run into him there. Um, I also have the Three of Pentacles. The Three of Pentacles speaks of uh, starting to see the fruits of your labor. And I think it speaks of this transition that you're going to make uh, and choosing a new path in life, choosing a new beginning. I think 
once you've chosen it and you're starting to to action your steps towards it i think you're going to start to see positive things manifesting for you and i believe that that's the universe's way to encourage you uh, to keep going on this path that you've chosen the right path and you're doing the right thing i have the magician here and to me, he represents that you have all the tools that you need to be successful. I also have the Wheel of Fortune card, and it represents your fortunes changing for the better. Um, so I'm definitely seeing a lot of positive, positively aspected cards here um, in regards to your journey and starting this new path. And definitely that's going to benefit you in the long run. And again, this line speaks to it as well. Um, the Eight of Swords feeling feeling trapped, um, feeling unsure uh, of which, which path to take, which direction to take, what decision to make, uh, stuck in maybe fear and anxiety. Um, I have the Hermit, which speaks to introspection and sort of doing some soul searching to figure out exactly um, what path would make you happy, what you need to do, uh, what you want your life to look like. And then I have the two of wands, which represents choosing a path. So making your decision uh, once you've done all that work. And I have the eight of cups, which speaks of a positive new journey in your life. So and I feel like that's what it's going to be for you. Uh, it's going to be a, a very positive new journey. I feel like a lot of aspects of your life are going to change for the better. And I have the ace of cups. Uh, which represents new beginnings as well. Uh, they can speak to relationships. Um, to me in this read, it just speaks of everything. Uh, I think this is gonna be a new beginning in a lot of different aspects in your life. Um, I have the star card, which to me represents hope in this read and the empress card. Um, and to me, to me, she's encouraging you um, to love yourself, to love life again, uh, to nurture yourself, to nurture this new future, uh, do things that feed your soul, that make you happy. That's what she's saying to me in this read. So I have the death card here as well, and the death card tends to represent a change in transition. So sort of closing the door on one chapter of your life and starting a new one. And I have the Knight of Cups, and to me, I see the words emotion, I see the words victory when I look at him. So I feel like this is going to be very emotionally fulfilling, it's going to be um, emotionally life-changing for you, this journey that you're on, and it's going to get you to a place um, where you feel like your emotional needs are being met, you feel like your, your cup is being filled, um, very much... Um, you have just sort of that happiness and that inner peace um, and that satisfaction. I get the word satisfaction too that you obviously aren't getting right now. And then I also have the Ten of Cups. And the Ten of Cups represents abundance in the home life. And I also feel like that's what you're going to be getting um, from this transition as well. It's just heading in a positive direction. Building for the future. I pulled Love Begins, Memories of Love, uh, Material and Spiritual Prosperity, and Temptation. I feel like the temptation also ties into to the Eight of Swords and sort of that fear, maybe even tempted to just keep plodding along and doing what you're doing because you're afraid of, of sort of the unknown and what the future is going to be. Um, And to me, love begins speaks of you learning to love life again. And I feel like the memories of love speaks to a time when you did. A time when you were happy, um, when you did feel fulfilled. Um, and that might help in your reflections as well as trying to, trying to shape this new life. Sort of going back to when you did feel that way. What was it that made you that happy? And then trying to incorporate that back into your life again. Either way, I think the end result of your journey is going to be the material and spiritual prosperity. I think you're going to be much happier, much more fulfilled. Um, I think things will be financially easier for you as well from what I can see from the cards. Um, and definitely, um, 
definitely that king of pentacles is going to be a positive influence in your life Alrighty, guys that's what this read said to me i hope you enjoyed it uh, please feel free to like to subscribe and join our our little community here at tarot harmony and and do comment because i love hearing from you guys Alrighty, take care